Hello and welcome to a brief video on how to use and set up the free Money Ledger bookkeeping apps. In this video, you'll learn how to set up the app and how you can easily add, delete, or edit your bookkeeping entries from your smartphone or tablet. First, let's review how to do the setup. The setup process involves three easy steps. Step number one, purchase and create your bookkeeping file with the ProLedger software program on your PC or Mac computer. So in other words, before you can use the apps, you're going to need to buy the software off the Money Ledger's website. And there's various ProLedger software programs available. You simply go through and choose it and you can make your purchase online. And once you've downloaded the software and set up a bookkeeping file, you will then be able to use the app to add, edit, or delete entries from that file. So in other words, the app doesn't create bookkeeping files. It simply allows you to work on bookkeeping files that you created with the software. So you buy the software and you get the apps for free. That's step one. Step number two, after you've bought the software and set up a bookkeeping file, you're going to go and you're going to need to um, install and set up a free Dropbox account. Now Dropbox simply allows you to share your bookkeeping file between your devices and your computers. It's completely free. It's very simple to set up. You would go to dropbox.com, set up a free account. Just need a first name, last name, email, and password. They don't need any credit card information. And then you sign up. And then when you're done, you're going to need to download the Dropbox folder onto your computer. So once you've downloaded Dropbox and set it up, you're going to look at your computer screen and you're going to see a blue Dropbox folder sitting here. You can slide any files you want into that folder. And what we're going to, you're going to be doing is creating a bookkeeping file with your software that you bought and sliding that bookkeeping file or saving that bookkeeping file inside the Dropbox folder. Then later, when we use our app, we can access that bookkeeping folder and file and make updates to it and add entries to it. So step number two, create that Dropbox account and put your bookkeeping file that you created in step one into that folder on your computer. Okay, you're now ready for step three, which is to actually download and start using the app. So when you go to the Money Ledger's website, you will notice that there's going to be buttons here across the web page allowing you to download different apps for your smartphone and tablet. You simply choose the one that applies to you. So under each software program, there's various apps to download. So for example, if I want to download this app, you would go to this website with your smartphone, for example click on that button then it would take you to the market where you can choose install and then it'll set it up for you on your handheld device so that's how you install the app onto your smartphone or tablet then after you've installed it it'll look something like this on your phone or tablet so you can see here, for example, I've installed Agent Canadian Ledger. And if I want to choose it, I just click on it and it opens up. Now you notice that, now I should some mention here as well that all the apps work the same. So I'm just using this one as the example, but you can use all the apps the same way. Now when you open the app the very first time, it's going to ask you to connect or log in to your Dropbox account. And as you mentioned, in in step number two, you would have had to create a Dropbox account. So now it's time to log into that account and access your bookkeeping file from your phone or tablet. So anyway, let's click on Dropbox Setup. And then it loads our login screen for Dropbox. And whatever you used for your free Dropbox account is what you put in here. So we'll just use my account as an example. And then I'm going to put in the password 
for the Dropbox account. And you can choose Remember Me. So you don't have to do this each time. You just do this once in that case. Choose Sign In. I'm choosing not to remember, but in your case, you might want to choose to remember so you don't have to do this again. And we wait till we're signed into our Dropbox account. And it's asking, would you like to allow the app to access the files in your Dropbox account? And you say yes. Allow. And it's logging into your Dropbox account. Okay. And now we can choose a file from within your Dropbox account. And as you mentioned earlier, when you created your bookkeeping file with the software, you would have saved that, you would have put that file in Dropbox so you can access it here. The nice thing about this is, is that whenever you do an entry on your smartphone or tablet, it immediately connects itself to the master bookkeeping file, which you will then see on your computer or other devices for that matter. So this is one way to connect all your computers and devices to the same bookkeeping file, which you will have in Dropbox, making it very convenient. Okay, so go to the folder where you keep your bookkeeping files. And here I have a couple of files. So ABC Bookkeeping Ledger is the one that we want. So we're going to choose that. And we're going to work on that bookkeeping file. So I'll wait for that to open. There we go. And once you've opened it, you can leave it open on your smartphone or tablet so you don't have to go through this process again. And just continue working on it as you, least, as you would like. Okay, so here is the app. So we can just start at the top and you simply click and you choose your, it comes up with the current date for you, but you can choose your date. And then you go down and you can choose your account. Let's say it's a visa transaction. And let's say we have either it's a business or a personal or a split entry. So we're going to say this is business category. Well, let's say this is um, other. We can enter in and choose a pre-written description here. Or you can put in an item. For a description if you like manually just click outside the box to get to close that put in the amount click outside the box and choose if there's taxes in this case we're going to say there's gst but keep in mind in some regions we don't even you don't even need to track your taxes so those apps won't have that feature but nonetheless for this particular app you can choose your tax you can edit your tax manually if you want to and when you're done you just click submit and the bookkeeping entry is being submitted to your master bookkeeping file okay now if we scroll back you can see at the top there's forward and reverse arrows so we can go and look back through our bookkeeping entries if we look at the entry we just did you notice at the bottom there's also an option for receipt manager so if you open up that button, it opens up a new screen. And now you can scan a receipt or scan a full page and attach that receipt to this bookkeeping entry using your smartphone or tablet. Or you can browse for an existing image that's on your phone or tablet and attach that to this bookkeeping entry. So let's say you're out, you've just spent some money, you have a receipt and you'd like to scan the receipt and add it and attach it to this bookkeeping entry. Okay. Now I'm doing this over the computer rather than showing you my phone so it's a little bit different than what it looks to me. This would look normal on your phone you know, up and down but it's showing it as a sideways thing but just bear with me on this part. Okay so once you've lined it up just snap the picture and now you can choose to save or discard it. So let's say we say, yeah, I'm going to save that. Then it's going to take it back 
to our main app screen. And here you can see that the image that we of the receipt that we took, the file is here. We can edit that file name if you like, but if you like it, just choose Submit. And now it's uploading and that image of that receipt is sitting attached to this bookkeeping entry for easy reference and you can view it at any time. And there it is. And we can go back to our, the main screen. And now we've done our entry. So now we have a complete entry of this item along with the receipt associated with that entry. You can delete this entry. You can clear all the fields so you can create another bookkeeping entry. And you can scroll through your entries using the top left and right arrows. And if you click on with your finger, the enter record, the word enter record, it pops up with a couple options. You can open a new bookkeeping file or you can exit this bookkeeping file as well. And that's all there's to it. You simply go through and anytime you have a receipt, you make your entry. You have the option to scan that receipt and have a digital copy of that receipt for your records, which will also be populated in Dropbox in a separate folder for you, allowing you to have an archive of all your receipts in a digital form. And the receipt quality is based on the quality of your camera or your smartphone, so you simply use that and that's all there's to it. Okay, I hope you found that video helpful. Thanks for tuning in.